Dear brothers and sisters, this year the whole Franciscan family is celebrating the 800th anniversary of the later rule of our seraphic father, Saint Francis of Assisi. And the rule and the life of the Fry Minor begins with these words, to observe the holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ by living in obedience without anything of one's own and in chastity. The Holy Trinity province of Karnataka rejoices and sings praises to God for the marvelous blessings bestowed upon her. On this auspicious day, two of our brothers, Brother Zapoviso David Sale and Brother Malroy Peter De Silva, after spending their 12 precious years in the Franciscan Capuchin order, have come forward to commit themselves totally to God as well as to the Holy Mother Church, bearing in mind the spirit and the charism of our seraphic father, Saint Francis of Assisi. Through the three evangelical councils, namely poverty, chastity, and obedience, they will be dedicating their entire life to serve the church and the humanity at large. During this Eucharistic celebration, let us accompany these our brothers through our prayers that they may remain faithful to their occasion and religious commitment. May the Lord who has begun the good work in them bring it to completion. Kindly rise for the entrance hymn. Savior, trying to follow us. 
Savior and King. Shaping our lives by His blessed example. Happy, how happy the song that we bring. How beautiful to walk in the steps of the Savior. Stepping in the line, stepping in the line. How beautiful to walk in the steps of the Savior. Led in paths of life. How beautiful to walk in the steps of the Savior. Stepping in the line, stepping in the line. How beautiful to walk in the steps of the Savior. Led in paths of In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. On behalf of the Provincial Council and all the Capuchin Friars of the province, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to each one of you. Dear brothers David and Melroy, it is 815 years almost Francis discerned his call. Listening to the Spirit, he discerned the Gospel. And when he heard the Gospel, when he listened to the Gospel words, he just exclaimed in the air and he said, This is what I wish. This is what I desire. And to this that he committed entire life to live the gospel way of life. To live the gospel way of life in poverty, chastity and in obedience. And that is what he proclaimed to the whole world. And today, you are in this holy place. You are before the faithful. You are before the Capuchin friars. You are before the church and this holy altar the dream of your life, the project of your life. You wish to proclaim, you wish to pronounce, you want to profess to live the gospel way of life in poverty and in obedience and in chastity. You are convinced what you are going to commit. You are convinced what you are going to profess. You are convinced what you are going to vow perpetually with this perpetual profession, a public profession. So dear brothers, never ever forget what you promised to the Lord today, what you profess to the Lord today, what you vow to the Lord today. Let this vow of yours take flesh and blood in you. Let it become part and parcel of your life. Let it form the spirit within you so that you always live fully, entire life of you. Never ever forget. Keep this memory alive in your heart. Keep this memory alive of your call. The day you said yes, the day you are going to profess today, and thus keep going, committing your life, convinced of your life, and offer entire your life to the Lord. As we are going to celebrate this Eucharist, we are keeping alive the memory of Jesus Christ. And may you also keep this memory alive all along your life. That is our prayer for you. Your parents, brothers, sisters, relatives, friends, and all of us here, Capuchins, present here, and those who are praying for you, we are with you in your journey of life. 
for the times we have failed to keep up the promises to the Lord. Let us ask pardon from the Lord and celebrate this Eucharist in a worthy manner. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless evermore, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. the world and mercy on earth. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on earth. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the God the Father, glory to 
to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and honor, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Let us pray. O God, who will that the grace of baptism should flourish in these your servants, so that they might strive to follow more closely in the footsteps of your Son, grant we pray that constantly seeking evangelical perfection, they may add to the holiness of your church and increase their apostolic zeal through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us, and His love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in Him and He in us, because He has given us of His Spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent His Son as the Savior of the world. God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God, and they abide in God. So we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. The Word of the Lord. Shall dwell upon his hill. I will show you what is good, what the Lord requires of you. Who shall tarry in his To show kindness and to walk humbly with your God, to act rightly, to be blameless, and to speak truth from the heart. In this day, do not damage to your neighbor. Honor those who fear the Never swearing, 
Do not take an interest on a loan Banish bribery and corruption And the Lord will keep you firm You shall carry in His hands You shall dwell upon His hill will show you what is good, what the Lord requires of you. Reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the, um, the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God so that you may be able to withstand all that evil day. And having done everything to stand free, stand therefore and fasten the bell of truth around your waist and put on the breastplate of righteousness. As shoes for your feet, put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all of this, take the shield of faith with which you will be able to scratch all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert and always preserve in supplication for all the saints Pray also for me, so that when I speak, a message may be given to me to make known with boldness to the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it boldly as I must speak the word of the Lord.
You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to bear abundant fruit. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. I am the true vine, and my father is the wine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that he bears, that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit because Apart from me, you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, now begins the ceremony of perpetual profession of our brothers. Now, the rector of Darshan Institute of Theology, Reverend Father Dennis Vegas, will call out the names of the brothers to be perpetually professed. The provincial minister will question the intention of these brothers. When the brothers respond, we all say, thanks be to God followed by the homily. We all sit and witness this ceremony. Let the brothers who wish to make their perpetual profession in the Capuchin Franciscan order, please come forward. Brother Zapoviso David Sale. Present. Brother Melroy Peter De Silva. Dear brothers, what do you ask of God and of his holy mother church? Having lived 
the concentrated life by the existence of the Lord Jesus Christ in the Capuchin Franciscan Order, founded by our serving Father St. Francis of Assisi. Now, Father, I humbly ask you that I may be allowed to make the perpetual perfection of those in this same family in which I want to persevere until death for the greater glory of the risen Christ and the service of the Church. Christ in the Capuchin Franciscan Order, Thanks. founded by our Seraphic Father, Saint Francis of Assisi. Now, Father, we humbly ask you that we may be allowed to make the perpetual profession of vows in this same family in which I want to persevere until death for the greater glory of the risen Christ and the service of the Church. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Dear brothers and sisters in the risen Lord, His Holiness Pope Francis made a three-day apostolic journey to Hungary recently. He was in the last week in Budapest the capital of Hungary for three days from April 28th to 30th of April, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. On 29th of April on Saturday, he addressed all the bishops, the priests, religious men and women, youth and the laity. And in his address, he said, for all our problems, the solutions will come from the tabernacle and not from computer. For all our problems, solutions come from the tabernacle and not from computer. Then he further encouraged the Christians in Hungary not to discourage amidst difficulties, struggles, crises, not to lose hope, not to lose faith, but to carry all problems, difficulties to Jesus, to the tabernacle and ask for God's help. He invited the Christians in Hungary to approach, to approach a time in openness and he called to prophetic receptivity. Pope Francis used the clause, phrase, prophetic receptivity. Then he goes on describing what prophetic receptivity is. It is about seeing all things in the light of the gospel without yielding to worldliness and the gospel gives us new eyes to see, to see all things in the light of the gospel. Our founder, St. Francis of Assisi, the founder of our brotherhood, had this great gift of prophetic receptivity. From the moment of his conversion, he embraced the gospel, and the gospel became the guiding principle of his life and activity. And he emphasized this experience, his own experience, this fact at the beginning and at the end of his rule and also in the testament to live the pattern according to the pattern of the gospel. The first chapter of our constitutions, the constitutions of the Captain Friars Minor, it speaks about the life of Captain Friars Minor. And the article number one says, our life according to the gospel, 
our life according to the gospel and whatever pope francis said in hungary in budapest to christians all things are there in the first article of our constitution the prophetic receptivity the entire capuchin fraternity of the holy trinity promised karnataka today overwhelmed with joy two of our brothers david sale zapovitso and melroy peter de silva make their perpetual profession this act of perpetual profession is nothing but prophetic receptivity they are promising the declare in public the declare that until the last breath of their life they live the life of the gospel in the year 2016 may 16 these two brothers made their temporary profession and that day they professed for a year to live this evangelical life thereafter every year they renewed their profession and we in all of eternities have a good custom to renew our vows on every friday reminding uh, as a reminder that our life is of gospel values the formula that these brothers used on the day of their temporary profession is the same formula that they are using today but with a difference they add today for their entire life not for one year not for 12 months not for 13 months but for their entire life and the provincial minister receives their vows in the name of the church and in the name of the order the act of prophetic receptivity which they accept today they declare today is an act of faith and what they say they say i follow jesus i follow more closely the footprints of jesus i follow the gospel i follow the rule i follow the constitutions i take the example of immaculate mother mary i take the example of st francis of assisi and i take the example of all the saints and i also take the help of my brothers in the service of god in the service of the church and in the service of people while committing oneself to god to the church to people saint paul used a military language and we heard that language in the second reading saint paul writing to the ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 to 16 saint paul uses a military language of a roman soldier the things the roman soldier uses or used the armor belt breastplate sword and shield by using these terms saint paul applies to his missionary life and he says god is my armor the grace of god is my armor the faith is my shield and the word of god is the sword and to put all this in together and to live expressing one's trust and confidence in god he says pray and he adds 
pray always to take god as an armor to take god's grace as armor to take the word of god deep within and to live in faith today these brothers commit themselves they promise and they express that in the form of promising vows it's an act of love of god for god has first loved them god has chosen them and god has called them to live the life of celibacy poverty and obedience and in obedience in celibacy one promises single hearted intimacy to god faithfulness to god alone and in poverty one trusts expresses his trust his dependence on god in faith and in obedience willingly surrendering oneself to god the core of the existence of religious depends on the connectivity that one has to jesus connectivity with god connectivity with jesus it's a kind of union and communion and that is well expressed by our lord jesus himself we heard in the gospel i am the vine and you are the branches as the father lives in me i live in you and that is the deep relationship a religious a christian should have with jesus and this communion this union this re- relation between wine and the branches as a religious i am a branch and jesus the, my friend is the wine and to deepen this relationship i need to be faithful to god jesus wants us jesus wants every religious to produce fruits branch that that abides in me will bear fruit what kind of fruits not the sour fruits not the rotten fruits not the stinking fruits not the tasteless fruits but the fruits luscious beautiful rich sweet tasty and the first fruit is christ likeness we as capuchins as franciscans as religious as christians we need to produce fruits and the first fruit is christ likeness we the franciscan capuchins have one of the finest examples in the person of saint francis who became alter christus that is the first fruit and we also need to bear that type of fruit to become like christ dear brother david brother melroy we all of us are happy today here priests your family members parents brothers sisters loved ones are here we are not come as an audience we have come as witness witness that you in public pronounce and promise your vows to god and to the church as brothers we are there with you as brothers we support you encourage you and we pray for you and we all of us today express our best wishes our congratulations to you along with your parents brothers and sisters and to you parents brothers sisters loved ones we thank you for offering your son your brother your sister to the your brothers to your uh, to to the church 
and we are glad that he, you become our own you become perpetual members of the capuchin, capuchin fraternity may the blessings of saint francis may the prayers of mother mary and her accompaniment be with you always and wish we wish and we would like to see that you bear fruit fruit in abundance as we do your act of prophetic receptivity dear brothers and sisters now begins the rite of profession the provincial minister will inquire further the candidates about their willingness to be lesser brothers in the franciscan capuchin order and their readiness to devote themselves to god and to seek perfect charity my dearest brothers you are already consecrated to god through baptism do you want now to consecrate yourselves to him more intimately with the new and special born of the perpetual profession of religious vows of poverty chastity and obedience yes i do yes i do are you resolved with the help of god to follow the franciscan way of life to the example of our seraphic father saint francis of assisi and to spread the word of god and to continue to do good yes i do yes i do are you resolved to strive steadfastly for perfection in the love of god and of your neighbor by living the gospel with all your heart and to observe the constitutions and rule of our religious family of the order of the capuchin friars minor yes i do with the help of god yes i do with the help of god may god who has loved you with an everlasting love and has called you to follow Christ in our religious family strengthen this your desire with his grace and bring it to fulfillment until the day of Christ the Lord and grant you the reward promised to those who follow him faithfully religious life is a challenging life in the present world it could be lived only with the strength of god now the provincial minister will invite the congregation to intercede for these brothers through the litany of the saints as the brothers prostrate themselves before the lord as a sign of complete surrender and total renunciation of the worldly pleasures we shall offer them to the lord as we kneel and sing the litany Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Christ hear us Christ hear us Christ graciously hear us Christ graciously hear us God the Father of heaven God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray 
forest, Holy Mother of God, pray for us, Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us, Saint Michael, pray for us, Saint Gabriel, pray for us, Saint Raphael, pray for us, all the holy angels and archangels, pray for us, Saint Joseph, pray for us, Saint John the Baptist, pray for us, Saint Peter, pray for us, Saint Paul, pray for us, Saint Andrew, pray for us, Saint James, pray for us, Saint John, pray. Apostles and evangelists, pray for us. Saint Stephen, pray for us. Saint Lawrence, pray for us. Saint Vincent, pray for us. Saint Sebastian. Pray for us, Saint Cecilia. Pray for us, Saint Fidelis. Pray for us, all the holy martyrs and holy saints. Pray for us, Saint Augustine. Pray for us, Saint Basil. Pray for us, Saint Jerome. Pray for us, Saint Bonaventure. Pray for us, Saint Benedict. Pray for us, Saint. Pray for us, all you holy bishops and confessors. Pray for us, Saint Francis Assisi. Pray for us, Saint Domini. Pray for us, Saint Anthony. Pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Saint Felix, pray for us. Saint Crispin, pray for us. Saint Claire, pray for us. Saint Veronica, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us. 
Saint Francis Xavier, pray for us. Saint Joseph Bahas, pray for us. Saint Tavara, pray for us. Saint Alfonso, pray for us. Saint Euphrasia. Saint Mother Teresa, pray for us. All you holy men and women of God, pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, deliver us from all. Lord, deliver us from every sin. Lord, deliver us from everlasting death. Lord, deliver us by your incarnation. Lord, deliver us by your death and resurrection. Lord, deliver us by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Lord, deliver us. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. By the self-offering of your servants and their apostolic work, Make the life of your church ever more fruitful. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Give us ever abundance of gifts of the Holy Spirit to your servant Pope Francis and to his brother bishops. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. By the life and labor of all religious, Promote the welfare of your people. Lord, Lord we ask you hear our prayer. Lead all men and women to the fullness of the Christian life. Lord, Lord we ask you hear our prayer. Grant that all religious communities may live and grow in the love of Christ and the spirit of their founders. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Give to all who profess the gospel counsels a full share in the work of redemption. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Reward a hundredfold the parents of your servants for the sacrifice they have made. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Make these servants of yours who today consecrate themselves to you more and more like Christ the Good Shepherd. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Give these servants of yours the grace of perseverance in their commitment to a life consecrated to the mission. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bless these brothers of yours. Make them holy and consecrate them to your servants. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the living God, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord, grant the prayers of your people. Prepare the hearts of your servants for consecration to your service. 
by the grace of the Holy Spirit, purify them from all sin and set them on fire with your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now is the most significant and most sacred moment of committing one's life to God. The brothers will one by one kneel before the provincial minister to pronounce the vow of obedience, poverty and chastity. The provincial minister will receive their vows in the name of the church. After the formula of profession, the vowed brothers will come to the altar to sign the documents of profession. Let's all pray them in silence. For the praise and glory of the most holy trinity, moved by divine inspiration to follow more closely the gospel and the footprints of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the presence of my brothers and into your hands, brother John Colvin dies. I, brother Zabuizo, stay fast in faith and will, Fall to God the Father, Holy Almighty, to live for my entire life in obedience without any deed of my own and in chastity. At the same time, I profess the life and rule of the Christ minor, confirmed by Pope Honorius, professing to observe it faithfully in accordance with the constitutions of the order of the Capitans Christ minor. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this brotherhood, so that by the working of the Holy Spirit, after the example of Mary Immaculate, and through the intercession of our Father Francis, and all the saints, with the help of my brothers, I may constantly strive for the fullness of love in the service of God, of the Church, and of all people. In the name of the Church and of the Capitan Order, I receive your vows, and if you observe them faithfully, God will grant you eternal life. For the praise and glory of the Most Holy Trinity, moved by divine inspiration to follow more closely the gospel and the footprints of our Lord Jesus Christ in the presence of my brothers and into your hands brother John Alvin Dias I brother Melroy Peter Silva steadfast in faith and will vow to God the Father holy and almighty to live for my entire life in obedience without anything of my own and in chastity. At the same time, I profess the life and rule of the friars minor, confirmed by Pope Honorius, promising to observe it faithfully in accordance with the constitutions of the order of the Capuchin friars minor. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this brotherhood so that by the working of the Holy Spirit after the example of Mary Immaculate and through the intercession of our Father Francis and of all the saints with the help of my brothers I may constantly strive for the fullness of love in the service of God, of the Church and of all people. In the name of the Church and of the Capitan Order, I receive your vows, and if you observe them faithfully, God will grant you eternal life. Now, the provincial minister will pray the solemn prayer of consecration over the newly professed brothers. Let us stand and join the ceremony silently. 
the newly prophesied will kneel for the prayer lord god creator of the world and father of human kind we honor you with praise and thanksgiving for you chose the people from the stock of abraham and you consecrated them to yourself while they wandered in the wilderness you comforted them by your own hand when they were poor and despised you raised them to yourself in the bond of love when they strayed from your friendship you led them back in mercy into the right way when they sought after you you looked after them in fatherly love until they came to dwell in the land of freedom but above all father we thank you because you brought us to know the truth through Jesus Christ your son and our brother born of the virgin mary he redeemed your people from sin by his death and showed them the glory to come by his resurrection when he took his place in your right hand he sent the holy spirit to call countless disciples so that those who follow the evangelical counsels could consecrate their whole life to the glory of your name and the salvation of everyone today it is right that your house should echo with a new song for these our brothers for they have heard your voice and offered themselves totally to your holy service send the gift of your holy spirit upon these your servants who have left all things for your sake shine in them a perfect chastity generous obedience and a poverty lived with evangelical joy may their humility be pleasing to you father serve you with generous obedience and cling to you wholeheartedly may they be patient in trials steadfast in faith joyful in hope fervent in love may they build up the church by the holiness of their lives advance the salvation of the world and stand as signs of the blessings that are to come lord protect and guide these servants of yours at the judgment seat of your son be yourself their great reward give them the joy of vows fulfilled made perfect in your life may they rejoice in the communion of your saints and praise you forever in their company we ask this through Christ our lord amen now the provincial minister will hand over the copy of the rule and the constitutions of the capuchin order to the newly professed brothers thereby he urges the brothers to be faithful to their vowed life and to persevere till the end god's will in their lives in order to find the perfect joy of christ let's all be seated take and receive the rule and the constitutions of the capuchin order may you follow it with faith and perseverance and you will live in perfect joy Take and receive the rule and constitutions of the Capuchin Order. May you follow it with faith and perseverance, and you will live in perfect joy. Religious life is not merely following the rules and the regulations of the order, but there is also an aspect of joy and brotherhood. Now, the provincial minister and the councillors. along with the all the concelebrants exchange the sign of peace as a symbol of welcoming the newly professed to the order of lesser brothers during this time the choir will sing an appropriate hymn thereafter the liturgy of the eucharist will follow as usual i request the parents of the newly professed to get ready for the offertory procession
Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive the gifts and intentions of your servants, O Lord, and confirm in your love those who profess evangelical counsel, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. He is the unblemished flower who sprang from the root of the virgin and declared the pure of heart blessed, teaching by his way of life the surpassing worth of chastity. He chose always to hold fast to what is pleasing to you and becoming obedient for our sake even until death. He willingly offered himself to you as a perfect and fragrant sacrifice. He consecrated to the fuller service of your majesty those who love of you leave all earthly things and promise they would find treasure in heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Hosanna, 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 
Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have said. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Francis, St. Clare, St. Anthony, Padre Pio, and, all, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance to peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Peter Paul our Bishop, the Order of the Bishops, our General Minister, our Provincial Father Alwyn, all the clergy, the entire people, and the prize of our order you have gained for your own. Strengthen in their holy resolve, O Lord, 
these your servants who today have bound themselves to you perpetually in the sacred bronze of religious profession and grant that they may show forth in your church the new and eternal life purchased for us by Christ's redemption. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. Jesus has, Jesus has taught us to call God as our Father. So with trust and confidence in his providence, we pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus Christ, our beloved Master, the one who calls us, the one who chooses us, the one who consecrates us, the one who commissions us. Blessed are we who have gathered together for this banquet of love. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
seed is scattered and sown. We gather and grow. Bread broken and shared as one. The living bread of God. Wine, fruit of the land. Wine, work of divine mysteries we humbly beseech you O lord 
to inflame with the fire of the Holy Spirit these your servants, bound to you now by an act of sacred offering, and to admit them forever to the company of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads and receive God's blessings. May God, the inspirer of every good resolve, foster your purposes and strengthen your hearts, that what you have promised, you may keep with persevering faith. Amen. May He grant you to hasten in the joy of Christ along the narrow way you have chosen, rejoicing to bear the burdens of your brothers. Amen. May the charity of God make of you a family brought together in the Lord's name, to show forth the image of the love of Christ. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered for these sacred rites, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace and love to serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God.